The mayor of Calgary's schedule is relentless on the quietest of days. Council meetings, phone calls, handshakes, openings, parties, you know, he's kind of everywhere. Yes. But on June 20th, 2013, Nahid Nenshi's job description changed. I had a chance to catch up with the mayor to get his thoughts one year later. Mayor Nahed Nenshi had just wrapped up a business trip to Toronto when the flooding began. He was being kept up to speed on the way back to Calgary by watching the live television feed on the airplane, and when he landed, it was right to work. So borrowed a very kind police officer in his SWAT team van and started on what ended up being a three-hour tour of the city from about 12.30 to 3.30 in the morning. Came back, did my first ever 3.45 a.m. press conference. And from then on, people know the story. The story was the worst flooding the city and province had ever seen. 32 states of local emergencies declared, 100,000 people displaced from their homes, the costliest disaster in Canadian history. And through it all, the mayor was there with words of encouragement and compassion. In the weeks to come, many of our neighbours will be in a lot of pain. They will have found that their homes are damaged. They will have found that things that are precious to them are gone. Maybe those things are gone forever. That is a lot of pain. And so we need every one of us to make sure that when our neighbours, who are our family after all, are dragged down, we are lifting them up. We're lifting them up with our hands by helping do the work. 20 people can clean a basement a lot quicker than two people can. And we need to make sure that we are helping them out with our spirit and making sure that they know that their community loves them and that their community is looking after them. And as the city tried to pick up the pieces, there he remained. People began to wonder if the mayor ever slept during that time. The hashtag Nap for Nenshi was trending on Twitter, and across the country, Nahed Nenshi's status went from civil servant to superhero. But the mayor, humbled by the attention, refuses to take most of the credit. Well, people saw a lot of me. I got 20,000 colleagues at the City of Calgary. Mm -hmm. They rebuilt McLeod Trail in one day. They rebuilt the C-Train in a week. They drove those giant garbage trucks up and down those streets for 17, 18, 19 hours at a stretch just to bring a little bit of normalcy back to people's lives. The least I could do was try to keep up. By most accounts, the mayor did more than keep up. He excelled and solidified his place as Canada's most coveted mayor. So now, one year later, what comes to the mind of Canada's most popular politician when he thinks about last June's flooding? Well, it's not the lack of sleep or those 3.45 a.m. press conferences. It's the resiliency of Calgarians and of all those who decided to lend a hand when this city needed it most. That's my biggest memory from the whole flood. It's not the water running so high. It's not the devastation in people's homes. It's the volunteers. It's that volunteer covered head to toe in mud, stinky mud, mosquito bites, cut and bruised and beat up. And she's working incredibly hard to save the basement of someone she doesn't even know. And uh, I think that's what most of us are left with. The mayor acknowledges there are people who are still working hard to rebuild Absolutely. their lives. There's still lots of work to do and looking to the future. Uh, you know, flooding cannot be avoided. So how are we going to work with this? More infrastructure needs to be put in place. But today is an important day to mark uh, the people who went beyond the call of duty. And not just in the city of Calgary. Mm -hmm. Then busloads went down to High River. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Help out where you can. Mm -hmm.